When you, when you begin to prepare for a hurricane, there's a lot you need to know, including your evacuation zone and flood zone and the difference between the two. Now, our phones here at Action News Jax have been ringing off the hook with people looking for help. All right, so new at five, Action News Jax, Letitia Barrio, live near I 95 on the south side where people are evacuating. Letitia, knowing if you're in a flood or evacuation zone could help you make the decision of whether to stay or to leave. Tanika, people are evacuating their homes all across Florida, and you can actually sort of see the impacts of that. This is 95 headed north. Of course, it's 5 o'clock traffic, but it's also people trying to get north. But there's still a lot of people wondering, should they pack their bags and go? Evacuation zones are based on scientific data that includes wave action, precipitation, and areas known to flood. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry is urging people in evacuation zones A and B to leave now before the roads get clogged. Robert Slama evacuated his mother from South Florida to Jacksonville for that very reason. They um, evacuated yesterday, and it was about 11 and a half hours, 12 hours on the road. It's usually a five, five and a half hour drive. Zone A includes coastal communities and areas by the St. John's River. Zone B includes neighborhoods near the Trout River in North Jacksonville. Flood zones are areas of land that are designated by FEMA to be at a high risk for flooding. Flood zones are directly tied to insurance rates and policies. It's important to know where you stand so you can determine if it's time to go. So I know it's difficult to see that map um, on TV. If you want to get a closer look, just go to actionnewsjacks.com. We have all the surrounding counties there. Also, if you don't know where to go, I'm working on a list of places that you can go for shelter on Action News Jacks at 6, reporting live off 95. Letitia Bariola, CBS 47, Action News Jax.